Hey man, you already know, man, the trap don't close. We trapping in our church clothes. I feel like preaching. I feel in the preaching spirit. Hey, DJ, play that organ for me, man, please. These killing more eagle turd birds think they got something special over there. They must ain't been watching cowboy football the last few years. I promise you that. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. Must have not been paying attention because they all, you know, head over heels, super excited about Kellen Moore. Now, let's be fair. Let's be fair. You know, I ain't even supposed to start talking about this off the bat, but hey, man, it's the trap. We do what we trap. Please. Trap. Trap. We do trap. what we trap. trap. Look, trap. I ain't even supposed to be talking about this yet, but hey, we just freestyle. That's what we do over here. You know, I go off the head. You know, I'm an I'm a, I'm a ex rapper. I go off the head sometimes. So, listen, man. We're going to be fair. Kellen Moore is a nice, young offensive coordinator that has no structure, that hates to run. He's allergic to running the football. We know that. Trap, 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 trap. We trap. know he's allergic to running the football, so this is a weird relationship. This is like, you know, when the prom queen go out with, the, you know, the nerd dude in high school. Now, now you know... The nerd dude usually get all the women outside of high school, though, you know? Trap, 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 The nerd trap. dude be ended up being the CEO of Apple and, you know, Microsoft and stuff. So, this is a high school analogy. But this is a weird relationship. This is an odd couple to me. This is an odd couple. Because Kelly Moore likes to throw the ball. The Eagles like to run the ball. Do that sound like it matched to y'all? that master y'all do that sound like a, a a healthy relationship because if the eagles think Jalen hurts is finna be throwing the ball 40 times a day 40 times a game and be great or effective you must be out of your mind trap 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 what Kellen Moore should be doing he should be right now he should be trying to formalize a plan to be creative in the run game and use Jalen Hurts to the best of his abilities because he's not a drop back passing kind of guy. That is not who he is. But the thing about it is what made me so low on the move is most people are always gonna stand on their principle. They gonna stay solid on what they know. But I'm solid and stand on whatever. And what Kellen Moore knows is what? Throw the ball all over the park like he crazy and have no regard for what? The defense. The defense be over there looking at Kellen Moore with the side eye. They be wanting to whoop that boy. I'm telling you. Don't work. I'm buying everybody the trap phone. Listen, the defense be wanting to whoop Kellen Moore. Because he, he don't care nothing about them. He play like it's one side of the football. And listen, that is not a good place to be as a defense. And we already seen the struggles that they defense had. These are the reasons why I wanted Kellen Moore to leave. Because a lot of people think it's just... It's just hatred towards Kellen Moore. Or, you know, we just wanted to have a hot take or something. Let me tell you the reasons why Landlord from Alabama wanted to get rid of Kellen Moore. This is why. Trap, 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 trap. For one, I didn't like the structure in the hierarchy in the organization because it felt like he was the golden boy. It felt like everybody, it felt like he was like the third in command over there. This man seemed like he had more power than Will McClay in Dallas. So that's one reason why I didn't like it because he was stepping over people's foot. He was stepping over people like Mike McCarthy did not have a leg to stand on when it went against him and Kellen Moore. That was a problem already. I didn't like the structure of the hierarchy. That's one. I felt like he was getting special privileges because he was their golden boy. He was basically a pseudo Jones boy. That's what he was to me. So. I didn't like the hierarchy in the organization with Kellen Moore. I didn't like that. Do you see Brian Schottenheimer getting all this privilege that Kellen got? You barely even see Brian Schottenheimer. So that lets you know the difference between a privileged offensive coordinator compared to a normal offensive coordinator. We don't even really hear from Brian Schottenheimer. <laughs> like, Brian Schottenheimer might as well be a ghost. He ain't even in the building, y'all. Like, this dude be tiptoeing around the facility, don't he? even know Brian Schottenheimer that well. Like, he got a few interviews. Okay, they barely even show this man on TV. So this right here lets you know when the game be broadcast, we don't even get clips or shots of Brian Schottenheimer almost ever. 
Now, I understand it's the difference between being a play caller and being an offensive coordinator. So they will show the play caller a little more. But they never show this dude. They hardly ever show Brian Schottenheimer on the sidelines or whatever. Excuse me. I'm not even sure if he's on the sideline, to be honest. Like, he could be in a box. That's how far and few in between it is that I see this man. But, okay, that's one. I think the structure of the hierarchy was kind of in shambles with Kelly Moore. That's one. Okay, two. Well, I say – the, the next reason is I feel like, like I said, he neglected the defense. He didn't care about number one side of the football. When you neglect the defense, that means you just want to throw, 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 which doesn't really milk the clock, which doesn't help your defense. If you milk the clock, that gives your defense a chance to get what? Back healthy, back rejuvenated, get their legs back under them, get a little more rest so they can go out there and be at their full potential. But if you don't do that, that's not helping the team. That's just being selfish. That's being selfish at that point. When you just, hey, I'm trying to light up the scoreboard. What Big Mike said about him? What did Big Mike say about Kellen Moore? He said, hey, Kellen want to light up the scoreboard. And y'all thought that Mike McCarthy was going to come in here with this slow, mediocre, archaic, average offense. You thought Mike McCarthy wasn't going to be scoring. That was false. We found out that that was false, right? That was false. No, Mike was going to cater more to the structure of the team, the football relationship between the offense and the defense, the complementary football. That was going to be an emphasis as far as the way Big Mike went, okay? That's what the way he went. Kellen Moore like, man, we trying to score as many points as possible. We don't care how quick the drive is, how long the drive is. As long as we put up points, that's all that matters to Kellen Moore. That's not a good way to do it. So, one, he messed up the structure of the hierarchy, in my opinion. Two, he had no type of complimentary football sense of knowledge in his head ever. Okay, the third reason, we all understand that Kellen Moore got what? He got some nice designs. He got a, like a little fun, creative mind, a creative way he like to run his offense. He do pre-snap motions. He do all this fun stuff and like putting Zeke at center and stuff. He do stuff like that. Trap, 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 trap. You know he put Zeke at center and stuff like that, and he had Dak running, you know, sneaks in the last seconds of the game. He do stuff like that. We understand what Kellen Moore you know, the fun part of Kellen Moore, the, the nice things he do. But that's all play design. That's all on paper. That's not on the field. That's where it's a problem. This is what we're trying to tell you. Trap, 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 you trap. Can be, you can be hot stuff on paper. What? The Cowboy Nation, we know. Who better than the Cowboys on paper? I wait. <laughs> Shit. Who better than the Cowboys on paper? I wait. <laughs> It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Sunday, y'all. I feel like preaching, y'all. Bow with me. Bow with me. Bow with me. Who better than the Cowboys on paper? It's not many teams that's better than us on paper. And on paper, Kellen Moore is a bad mama jama. But on the field, that's where his problems come to rear their ugly head. You know what I'm saying? He can design. You know how they say the stuff never go as planned. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They say life never go as planned like that. Kellen will have a dope plan. He'll have a dope scheme, dope play design. All of it look great on paper. But when you bring it to reality, it just all crumbles. It all comes falling down. Exactly, Johnny Duncan. That's why Michael Lombardi called him video game because it all works on paper, which is not reality. The reality is on the field. That's where he's struggling. Trap, 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 trap. So we understand his play design is great. He have great schemes. He have great play design. But the issue is when he try to implement this stuff on the field, that's when it becomes a problem. That's when it becomes distracting, when it comes complicated, too complex for all of the players to even get into their mode. It, it, it hinders the full potential of all of the players. Nobody could be comfortable in a scheme that they trying to figure out on the go, Right? How could you be comfortable in your job and you barely know what you're doing? Like, you will never be able to relax and just operate and execute because you're not sure what you're doing. So that was the third reason, because he was a good play designer, but he was a terrible play caller. And that's the reason, like, I, I consider the play calling part, like, 
him not caring about complimentary football and him not knowing the feel of the game. As a play caller, he did nothing. Like, as a play caller, he never had a good feel for the game. Now, we can put some of that type of blame on Mike McCarthy this year, too, because we seen in moments that Dak just wasn't feeling it. And it's 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 a way you kind of try to reel him back in. Like, you got to, as a play caller, you got to kind of feel it out. Like, if your quarterback throwing a little high, if he throwing a little wide or left or right behind the receivers, it's, it's certain plays that you know, like his go-to plays that you get yourself back in rhythm. Like, hey, Dak, let me reel Dak back in. Look like he a little too amped up here. He ain't feeling it right now. Let me throw these plays at Dak so he can get back in his rhythm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like telling Kobe Bryant to do a turnaround jumper. You know that's his go-to. So this is you supposed to have those type of plays in your scheme to help your quarterback get back in rhythm. You see what I'm saying? Like a dunking off the glass. You know that's his go-to move. You supposed to have those dialed up just to get your quarterback back in rhythm. I'm, I guarantee you it's certain plays that Dak has that he would he would go to war about. It's certain plays that if you take this off the uh, playbook, Dak will probably want to go to war. It'll be a civil war in Dallas. So once he feel out of rhythm, this the time where you start implementing them plays. Like, okay, let me let me get my guy right. Let me get my dude back in motion. Let me get my dude rolling rolling in the pocket or let him run the ball or something to get his blood flowing right. So it's just certain certain plays that every offensive coordinator is supposed to know. They supposed to be in sync with their player to be able to tell when they ain't looking right. So that's why I said I gave Mike McCarthy that blame, a little blame on that, because he did it better than Kellen, but it still got some work to be done. But Kellen really didn't have it. He wasn't in sync with Dak in that regard at all. We seen games where Dak was just looking absolutely terrible. We didn't see those big roller coaster rides and swings in Dak play this year. That's due to the experience of a play caller that Mike McCarthy is, right? To me, that's that speaks to the experience of the play caller. That's what that speaks to. We seen all this inconsistency. I believe that was due to Kellen Moore. That was due to Kellen Moore because he wasn't an experienced play caller, so he don't know how to manage or handle some of these situations. That's what we mean when we'll take a, a, a what it is, what Law Nation say, that old broom that can get in them corners. That's why we need experienced people, man. That's why I said that's three main reasons. It's many more, so we could do this all day, but, you know. It's many more, but these three main reasons why I want to kill him more out of Dallas. That's it right there. So let the Eagles people celebrate. Let them pop bottles. Let them go have their fun. But they got to realize what we say Kellen Moore motto is. A beautiful loss. That's what Kellen Moore gets. Trap, 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 trap. That boy trap. has some of the most attractive, sexy losses you'll ever see in your life. I promise you. Because it goes, it goes against the main, like, what can I say? The the pillars of football. You got to have complimentary football and stuff like that just don't work. It, it's unsustainable. You can't sustain that kind of play. You just can't. It will never work for you when you're going against the staples and the principles of football. You got to be able to play complimentary. And Kellen Moore don't give a – you know how we say Dan Quinn don't give a, a care about the linebackers? Kellen Moore don't give a care about the defense at all. You know? Trap, 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 you know, trap, trap, trap. That trap. man don't care not one iota about whatever defense you coming in. He cares nothing about it. 